Today we're looking at rounding whole numbers and decimals. Uh, first off, the question, why do we round? Uh, rounding simplifies the numbers so that we can work with them easier. Like in subsequent lessons, being able to find the sum or the difference of a number because we're rounding. It helps us deal with these numbers a little bit easier. Now, sometimes when we are rounding, especially in like math workbooks and such, it'll say, please round to a specific place value. It will underline that value or say, please round to the thousands place or the tenths place or the nearest whole number. And so I'll show you a couple different ways that we will see rounding um, throughout fifth grade. Okay, so the first one I have this whole number, 164,032. It may have that underlined right there and say, please round to the underlined digit. Or, because that's in the thousands place, it may also ask, please round to the nearest thousand. Now, as we are rounding, one thing to remember is, when do we round? I like to look at it as a scale of 0 to 9. We're climbing up this hill. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're right up at the top. We could either go forward or back, but 5 is the magic number when we're rounding. Because we've already made it to the top, that's when we go over 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, as we're rounding to the nearest 1,000, we look directly to the right. And then we judge, is that above or below the magic number. As it's asking to round to the nearest thousand, we have two choices. We can either round to 164,000 or 165,000 because those are the nearest thousands. So as we look at this, round to the nearest thousand, here are our two choices. Bam, we have a zero. No way can we round up. So if we rounded this number to the nearest thousand, it would be 165. Now if we rounded it, and I'm going to change this to an 8 just to make it easier on us, if we wanted to round to the nearest 100, our choices would be 164,000, because zero hundreds, or 164,100. We look at the hundreds which that number is in between. And 82 is between zero hundreds and one hundred. So round to the nearest hundred. We look at this next number. Is it five or higher, or is it less than five? Because eight is higher than five, we would round forward or higher to the next highest number. We would round up. So that would be rounded to 164,100. Because this digit, directly to the right of the underline, is above Five is five or above, so we round up. Now, when we're rounding decimals, same principle applies. Um, just we need to know that the tenths place and the hundredths place or the whole number. So it may say round to the nearest tenths place. That's the number where we want to end. Another quick one on this. If I am rounding to the thousandths place, I want to end that number by saying thousand. If I'm rounding to the nearest hundred, like we did, I want to end by saying 164,100. If I'm rounding to the nearest tens, I want to end in 30, 40, 60, 80. I want to end by saying that place, and zeros the rest of the way. So now, as we round to the nearest tenth, we still just look to the right. Is this digit higher or lower than five? And we have these two choices because in tenths, 3.90, 4.00, because that is a 4, we round down back to 3.90. So that would be our choice there. Then also rounding to the nearest whole number. Nearest whole number is either a 3 or a 4 because this digit, the one to the right, is higher than 5. We round up to Okay, that is rounding whole numbers and decimals, which will help us in subsequent lessons.